weather. So impact days often look like this. It's been sunny and hot this afternoon. The heat index in the Tuscaloosa area got to 110 about two hours ago, but now we've had some heavy thunderstorms come in and this is what it looks like very close to WVTM 13 live Doppler. The radar sits right there close to Bama Rock Gardens Road and Interstate 20 in Tuscaloosa County. Well, the outflow, the rain cooled air from that storm has started to pull toward the northeast of the radar site. So the wind is really kicking here around Van and the Mercedes plant and that's about to happen for Woodstock and Green Pond as well and then work up toward exit 100. So this cluster of thunderstorms that's over top of the Tuscaloosa rest area that is beginning to diminish a bit, but the storms are continuing to fire here between Duncanville and uh, Woodstock and those strong storms are moving into Bibb County. We've got another cluster of strong storms in Jefferson County and all this is moving toward the east southeast at only about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So these are very, very slow moving storms. We'll track this one that's coming out of Tuscaloosa into Bibb County first. Now the wind has already started to pass through Bibb County, but the rain is a bit behind that. It could take up to an hour for this thing to get over toward uh, Alabama Highway 5. The next batch of storms that's up here in Jefferson County is tracking uh, closer to McCalla down toward uh, exit 104 and then coming up on 459. So we got heavy rain moving into the north side of Bessemer, Lipscomb, Fairfield, but the really rough action is closer to Adger and going to head closer to the McCalla area, Eastern Valley Road. There's a severe thunderstorm now in DeKalb County, and we'll keep an eye on this one for Cherokee County. But remember, these things are moving moving very slowly and they are not continuing that same strength that they have along their entire duration. So it would take till about 720 to get that storm that's up on the north end of Sand Mountain all the way down toward Leesburg. So the next few hours we have some pretty hefty storms over DeKalb County uh, into Cherokee County, potentially Etowah County. A few more will develop over toward Tuscaloosa County and then watch this. We think there could be an expansion of storms through 8 and 9 p.m. over northeast Alabama and then those start to fizzle out around midnight. There could be some leftover showers through early tomorrow morning and then we're going to do this all over again during the day Saturday. Scattered heavy storms this evening. More active weather is coming up for the weekend. Make sure you got the WVTM 13 app on your phone for lightning alerts and for any severe weather alerts that you may end up needing. Uh, look at this tomorrow afternoon. Heat index still 100 to 105 degrees. The high around 94 on Saturday. Heavy thunderstorms are likely. Here's the rough timeline for Saturday. Early in the morning, some showers and then thunderstorms will start to erupt around 1 to 2 o'clock in North Alabama. Work down through the Birmingham metro area through 3 to about 7 p.m. And then most of this action is going to be over by 8 o'clock. Heat advisory in effect on Saturday. A few storms could be severe. Still think we could have some storms around on Sunday, the high 92. Most of those are going to be south of Birmingham. And then next week, a bit more comfortable, especially in the mornings. Right.